Good everyone, I am Azure Blaze, and welcome back to another Pokemon Violet Let's Play video. I almost said Incredible Indies twice. <laughs> I said it once and then restarted the um, the capture and <laughs> tried to not say it again. Um, however, yeah, back to Pokemon Violet today, and as can be seen, I'm in a snowy town. That's a Stampy reference <laughs> for anyone who's currently watching that. Anyway, um, yeah, no, I'm in a snowy place. It looks really nice. Actually, it's probably the nicest looking place in the game, personally. That's what, how I feel, at least. And, um, yeah, no, it was, it was fun to get up here because all I had to do was this, which is Moradon's new ability, which is amazing, in my opinion, at the very least. And what are you? Hello, friend. Bye-bye, friend. I'm busy. <laughs> Basically, anyway, um, the plan this episode is to try to do this gym battle. I don't know how powerful this person's gonna be. I... I don't know. I'm gonna find out in, the, in like a minute. I've gotta do the whole thing first. I gotta do the whole, um... Oh! Hello, Nimona. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats... Congr congrats? Congrats on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gyms get this far, you know? Really? That's interesting. However, I'm not surprised that you made it. I knew there was a reason you caught my eye. <laughs> Thanks, Nimona. Oh, please. I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, uh, <laughs> you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? You know the drill by now. Okay, we're gonna battle. And we're gonna battle Nimona again. This shall be interesting. Alrighty. Let's go. Nimona first. Tatakin, here's our battle court for today. Here's ice. Alright, mm hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokemon will be battling in. The battlefield can have these teeny effects on your Pokemon's balance and such, you know. Oh, okay. Anyway, sorry I sort of dragged you here. However, a good, however, a little pre gym warning, uh, a warming up should do you good. I cannot read today. <laughs> Come on, Blaze, let's, us, let's have us a fruitful battle. My gosh. I should stop reading. <laughs> oh, I'm horrible. Hello, Nimona. You're challenged by Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Pokemon Trainer Nimona. Lycanroc. Interesting. I got Talent Flame. Show me the battle skills that you got. That got you six gym badges or six badges. Um, it was a lot of flipping in and out of Pokemon. Not very effective. None of them. Oh, this isn't good. Do I have any Pokemon that has anything effective? Sprigatito. Staraptor. And Buizel. Water is super effective? Okay. Let's see how well this goes. <laughs> this might not go too well at all because she seems pretty on level with me, which is worrying in its own right. Yeah, the opposing life rock used Acela Rock. Interesting. Aqua Jet always goes first, may as well use that. Oh, that did a decent amount actually, now I think about it. <laughs> You're not the only one who can hit hard when it counts. Okay. I'm scared. Rock slide. Oh, oh poor Buizel. Buizel's gone. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I wasn't expecting Buizel to go out that quickly. Um, That's kind of a worry, isn't it? Considering Buizel is level 47. Uh... Sprigatito it is, I guess. <laughs> You're in charge, Sprigatito. Okay, let's go. Battle. May as well use a seed bomb. Oh no, sand attack. Does that lower my accuracy? Yeah. I remember. Sprigatito, use seed bomb. Well, I can rock avoid the attack because of the accuracy thing. Okay, this could be interesting. Sand attack again. Stop lowering my poor thing. <laughs> my poor Sprigatito's accuracy. Energy ball. Okay, Lycan Rock is out. Very good, Sprigatito, actually. I wasn't expecting it to be taken out that easily. I was about to send out Sligu. Will you switch your Pokemon? At the moment, I'm going to keep it. I can't remember which one Sligu is. I think that might be the... Yep, <laughs> that's the one. <laughs> Although it was part of the evolution that I was thinking of, at the very least. Um, I don't know what is effective and what isn't effective against Sligu. Uh oh. <laughs> Why is it always Dragon Pulse? 
<laughs> Everyone always says Dragon Pulse, then what happened to my energy ball? <laughs> okay, I'll try using Play Rough instead. Sligo avoided the attack. And Dragon Pulse again. Sorry, it's Brigadito. No, what about Brigadito? Okay, I'm gonna bring out Old Faithful, I guess. <laughs> Lex Ray swap in. I don't know how it stacks up against to Sligo or whatever you say its name. However, yes, Sligo. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, battle, let's use Thunderfang. Always my go-to, I feel, with... Oh, it's not very effective? That did a decent amount, I feel... Okay, Luxray can tank Dragon Pulse a little better. <laughs> okay, Sparkin, I, I guess. Ooh, it's not very effective. Did I get a critical there? No. And Sligu could be paralyzed, which is interesting. Paralyzed, Dragon Pulse. Okay, let's go again. Let's take out this Sligu. Okay, the Mariner should only have two Pokemon left, I think. I think that's how many I counted before. Was it four Pokeballs? And that will be including... Um, oops. No, let's keep Luxray out. Poor Mott. That'll be including her... The one that Quaxley evolves into that I can't remember the name of. Okay. Oh, electric type versus electric type. It's not very effective. Luxray's going to use Spark and it's not going to be very effective either. Or that. That works too. Let's use Bite. <laughs> See how much Bite does. That didn't do too much. Critical hit though. You never know what's going to happen next. She meant to say that like when you get critical hits, I guess. Probably what I would imagine. Um, I'll keep using. Might as well keep using Luxray for the moment. I didn't mean to use Thunderfang. I pressed the wrong button. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, that was... Whoops. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> oh well. I uh, feel like I can still do this, at the very least. Okay, let's send out um, Edge for the moment. Probably a strange choice, however Seraledge is a lot lower when it comes to um, leveling than other Pokemon. Which means it might be good to get him out and get him up some. If he doesn't get taken out straight away, we're about to find out. Oh. Did it only paralyze it? Terrorledge couldn't move because it's paralyzed. That sounds about right. Battle. Let's use this one instead. <laughs> How? Poor Terrorledge. Go Terrorledge. That a did a decent amount? <laughs> I guess. I'll try it. Mine's an electric type Terrorledge. Oh, actually, that means it won't take as much damage, I would imagine. That's that's not a bad idea. I didn't think of that until I said that. <laughs> oh gosh, at this rate I won't be able to do the gym today. I'll finish the, um, what's it called, the, the, the gym puzzle thingy and then start the gym in the next episode. Pressing format use spark. It's not very effective. Serologe couldn't move because it's paralyzed. Yes, it is. Okay, let's use. Um, let's use Phantom Force because I like Phantom Force. It's a neat move. <laughs> that was not very effective, apparently. Uh, let's quickly bag. I think I have something for restore. Can be the flu and cure any status conditions. Let's go with that one. <laughs> I, I know that's probably like a rare thing that I didn't want to use, however, may as well. And should have a fair amount of HP as well, I think. Yep, straight up. And Spark's not going to do anywhere near as much because Sarah Ledge is technically an electric type as well. I can't believe I never thought of doing it that way before. Let's use Shadow Core. <laughs> it's not very effective. Sarah Ledge, use Shadow Core. Ooh, that does a decent amount. I do like that. Let's use Lava Plume. Spark again. Poor Sarah Ledge is getting fairly hurt. This is okay though. Oh, that's really close. I might actually quickly heal Sarah Ledge. A little bit. And then try to use another move. Okay. Heal, heal, heal. Neat. Opposing Spark. 
Okay. It's not very effective. Let's use another lava plume. That's right. I think I'm going to switch Sarah Ledge out in a moment. There we go. Pulmo is out. Because I don't think Sarah Ledge will do too well against who's coming up in the moment. Oh, Sarah Ledge wants to do Lunar Move. Wants to use Lunar Move Swords Dance. What is Swords Dance? I've never heard of that move. Oh, that's it. <laughs> okay, that's all right. Quaquavel, qu -qu -qu <laughs> Um, yeah, I'm gonna switch out for Star Raptor at the moment. I think it's probably the best, best idea. Go Star Raptor. Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives <laughs> you Let's see who's. Oh, but I didn't even get to finish that one. That's how, that's how slow of a reader I am. You're pressing Quacks Quavel attack fell. Well, oh, because it's the That's right. <laughs> Let's see if I can one hit it. Please tell me I can one hit it. Here comes the fun part. Time to make this terror orb shine. Uh, they always shine, aren't they? Aren't they like crystal? <laughs> anyway. Okay. Quick Quavel is all terrored up. Let's see. How much Staraptor and Brave Bird can do. Ooh! Brave Bird is such a good move. <laughs> oh, here we go. This move is going to hit with the force of all my training. Aqua Step. Ooh! Staraptor is still going. That's the main thing. Let's not use Brave Bird this time. Let's use Aerial Ace. Oh, it became less effective because it's terrestrialized? Is that... Uh-oh. This isn't good. <laughs> I only realized what happened then. Straptor is out. <laughs> and Talonflame is going to be in, I think. Okay. I know Talonflame is very much not good against this type of Pokemon. However, let's hope the Talonflame can hang it out. <laughs> uh, let's use Quick Attack because it's always first, I think. Cool. Oh. It's fast, I know that much. That didn't do very much. Uh-oh. I might need to quickly revive someone. Yeah, I will. Okay, Sarah Ledge, it's time for you to come out, I think. <laughs> and uh, while I quickly go revive, <laughs> swap in. While I quickly go revive, um... What's its name? Luxray. <laughs> Luxray, come back to me. Okay, this could go one of two ways. Either really bad or really well. We'll find out in a moment. Bye bye, Sarah Ledge. <laughs> I like that they keep the terrestrialization when you switch them back. I did not realize that until this match. Okay, this could be very interesting. Luxray, hop in. Let's make the attack fall. That'll be handy. Uh, I'm going to quickly heal up Luxray, actually. It's probably the best idea that I have. Super Potion. Luxray has HP restored. Oh gosh, here we go. See how much Aqua Step does to Luxray. Hopefully not as much. It was a critical hit. And I lost. It was a critical hit and I lost. <laughs> I lost to the Mona. I think that's my first loss to the Mona, is it? You were in both of your feet. Well, that's a W for me. He battled real well, though. I think that should be enough of a warm up. The window Pokemon should be all set now. Here, take these as thanks for the battle. I lost. You put the max potions in your bags, medicine, please. There are two gyms remaining, then all that will be left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Now let's get you back to the gym lobby. My gosh, I... Okay, I wasn't expecting to lose the Nimona, however, she did well. Her quaquavel is pretty good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting her to take out Luxray straight off. Um, hello sir. <laughs> Welcome to Glacido Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Blaze, yes? That is me. 
Now, in order to face gym leader Grusha, Grusha, you'll need to you'll first need to pass the gym test. Head to the Glacado gym. Oh, here at the Glacado gym, that means doing the snow slope run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, head out of the gym and go to the slope to your left. We'll fill you in on the details there. This sounds quite fun, actually. <laughs> Let's go. Please. Please load. My gosh, the loading times are horrendous. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Slope to the left, he said. He said to the left, didn't he? Is this a slope over here? Um, is this what is being referred to? Oh, uh oh, I'm battling something. Whoever you are, a snom. <laughs> a snom. Okay. That's a funny name, I like that. Um, I want to know where the gym test is, however. That's that's what I'm looking for. He said to the left, didn't he? Or did I read that wrong? Did he say right? I, I don't know. Okay, let's go. It's not very effective. I don't have one of these. That's the only reason I'm <laughs> worrying about battling it. A snom. I like the name. Snom used powder snow. Hopefully this gym battle, um, being that I'd imagine the, the person's an ice type user, I should be alright, I think. Snom was caught. Thank you, now I have a snom. <laughs> what a name. A snom. Within its internal organs, snom amplifies the frigid air it gets from eating snow and then uses the amplified air to create icicle-like spikes. Interesting. I now have a snom. <laughs> I like the name. That was fun. Anyway, oh gosh. Uh, I quickly want to grab this while I'm here. Oh, it's an extra revive for the one I used. Anyway, um, jump up here. Where is this apparent slope that they were referring to? I'm a little bit confused. I'm very much confused. <laughs> I imagine the amount of people yelling at their screen right now saying, eh, why are you going the wrong way? It's this way, that way, this way, that way. And I have no clue. All I know is it's really snowy up here now. Where's the... <laughs> is that the slope? That must be the slope. Hey there, I've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It is slippery. It is like a slippery sliding nature trail. <laughs> Reach the finish line within the target time and you'll have passed the test. Ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? Okay. <laughs> I guess. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. This should be interesting. I, I don't know how this is going to go. However, I will find out. I would imagine, anyway. Uh, is that the end point, or is that a terrestrialized Pokemon? <laughs> I gotta go down on Maridon. Take on the snow slope run. Okay. Uh, okay, three, two. If he had done it in under a minute thirty. Oh, okay. It's very slippery. Very, very slippery. However, speed-wise, I mean, it's, it's not... <laughs> I don't know what his physics are. It's very... <laughs> what is this? I was expecting this to be a lot faster. More like I was, like, sledding. Oh, gosh. Now that counts, apparently, according to that. It's a terrestrial Pokemon. Neat. And I'm down the bottom. That was... I feel like they gave me way too much time. Okay. 
I, yep, I did pass the gym test. <laughs> and my ride on is all snowy. <laughs> Which I kind of kind of enjoy. That's kind of funny. Congratulations on completing the run. Thank you, sir. That was some of the best lighting I have ever seen. Almost like seeing Grusha, 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 however you say his name, in his prime again. Oh, you passed the gym test with flying colors. Let the receptionist know. Are you not the receptionist? However, um, in saying that, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it today. There's not enough time in this video. Therefore, uh, yeah, the next episode I will be taking on Grusha, Grusha, however you say his name. And I'm going to see how I go against the Ice-type gym. However, for today's episode, I believe that is all from me. I hope everyone enjoyed the video, and I shall be back in the next one. Cheers, everyone.